Long waits, locked accounts, and flat-out denials from several federal agencies involving hundreds of thousands of taxpayers. We have seen an uptick in complaints about these issues, and from what we can tell at this point, there's no end in sight. Eight on your side, Investigator Wal Buteau joining us in studio with more about this. Yeah, and over the past year, we've been able to help taxpayers recoup about $100,000 in benefits they were owed, but we wanted to know why these problems continue with several national government agencies, so we went to one of our representatives for answers. You have reached OPM's retirement services. A Sebring widow came to aid on your side when she could not even get through on the phone about her late husband's federal pension. This Riverview single mother has two years of tax returns snarled in an IRS dispute. Uh, no. Army veteran Baldomero Vega's fight for basic VA benefits ended after he recently died without the help he thought he earned while serving in Korea. <laughs> We did help Tampa's Mary Painter unlock eight months of Social Security benefits, and she told us she knows she's not alone in facing red tape runarounds. But like many others we've helped, Painter told us it should not take a nudge from the media to solve a problem with the government. Uh, no, it shouldn't. No, it shouldn't. As we covered Democrat Representative Kathy Castor win a ninth term, we asked her about these issues. How do we make Washington work better where these people can at least get through on the phone? She suggested your representatives can help. And that's why I take great pride in what we do in constituent service to cut through the red tape and the bureaucracy. Uh, and they should not be shy in calling their member of Congress. The data is daunting. Nearly 144,000 VA cases are in backlog as of September, according to that agency. At the IRS, a mid-year report revealed there are 21.3 million unprocessed paper tax returns, up more than a million from last year. And as the feds continue to investigate COVID-19 fraud, there are thousands waiting for approved help from the SBA, according to this investigation by the Treasury Department Inspector General. The IRS did make progress on its backlog, cutting it to less than 9 million unprocessed returns by August. One common claim from agencies and the inspector generals that audit them is COVID-19 is blamed for impacting their staffing and causing these backlogs. Walt Buteau, 8 on your side. And if you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.